There he stood tall at the court of the king, that seemingly simple man, with faith in his heart and his brother by his side. Phrases with the meaning Israelites, such as Jews, a people of the book, have been repeated some 40 times in the Quran. Israelites were suffering at the hands of the Pharaoh, who would kill their sons and leave their daughters alive for servitude. It was at such times of turbulence that Moses was sent to empower and free the faithful and oppressed sons of Israel, aka Jacob. But the process was a painful one. Neither were the Israelites prepared to resist, nor did the Pharaoh's tribe have reason to refrain from enslaving them. Once it was clear that Pharaoh would neither accept the prophetic signs of Moses, nor his gentle words and reason, then began the God's retribution. But every time they would plead with Moses to call on his God to end the retribution. Each time they would promise to refrain from oppressing the Israelites. But once the retribution was lifted, these aggressors would proceed to further torment the oppressed. In the end, God ordered Moses to take the Israelites away. They were closely followed by their enemy, and ahead of them was a deep, forbidding sea. So with the strike of Prophet Moses' star, the sea parted and let the believers through, but the raging waves swallowed Pharaoh and his army. The Quran's account of the Israelites does not end here, however. Later, they tormented Moses with their ingratitude and worshipping idols. The Quran has denounced certain Jews and Christians, but they claim to be the sons of God and his loved ones, saying that they too are human beings like all others created by God. But no matter which peoples are talked about throughout the Quranic narratives, a single truth is repeated over and over again, that God is always on the side of the oppressed, be they Muslim, Christian or Jew.